This is the Picron E2000 LFP. And today I'm gonna to test it in five categories, starting with a battery capacity test. For this test, I'll pull 400 watts or about 0.2C of its nominal 1,920 watt hour capacity. The result will show how much power we got over its claimed capacity. The resulting percentage accounts for inverter efficiency and other safety features inside of the power station. Starting this test, I'll reset my meter just to make sure it's zeroed out and plug in my heat gun, which is set to pull around 400 watts. While the battery capacity test runs, here's the rest of the plan. The other four categories I'll test today are recharge time using the AC power brick, inverter capability because the Picron claims to run 2000 watts continuously and handles loads up to 4000 watts. We're gonna find out just how much that inverter can take before it fails. Next, we'll look at its display features and see if it has what I would expect for something its size. And finally, we'll look at its overall value. Now let's check back in and see how the battery capacity test went. Running that 400 watt load, I got a pretty decent runtime of four hours and 11 minutes. It also returned 1,673 watt hours from the battery, which gives us a pretty decent 87% efficiency on that inverter. Overall, the Picron so far is living up to its claims. Now I'm gonna see how long it takes to recharge the Picron from its power inverter. This power inverter is rated at 42 volts and 15 amps, which is 630 watts. And that's a lot of power. This AC power adapter is pretty big, and you can buy a second one for about 150 bucks and cut your recharge time in half. Now I'm just gonna hit start and plug these things in at the same exact time. While this thing recharges, let's talk about the rest of its features. This thing has plenty of outlets, starting with something that I like to see, which is wireless charging on top. Next, it has one, two, three, four, five, six AC outlets. So there's quite a bit of AC outlets on this thing, much more than I normally see on devices this size. In addition to that, it has two USB-C outlets, one of which is a USB-C power delivery outlet capable of receiving and giving up to 100 watts. Next, it has four standard USB outlets, and then up on the DC panel has two of your 5521 barrel outlets, and then finally a car charging outlet. Overall, there are plenty of outlets on this device. This thing isn't very light. It comes in at 48 and a half pounds or 22 kilograms. And if that's a problem for you, they do have a roller accessory that you can put this thing on. It's basically a little carriage with two wheels on it. I'm not sure of the price, but if you plan to take this thing long distances, you may want to look into getting something to carry it around. The E2000's battery is expandable up to 8,046 watt hours. And Picron claims the battery retains 80% capacity after 3,500 discharge cycles. You can pump up to 1,200 watts of solar power into it, and the included charging brick puts out just over 500 watts but you can cut the charging time in half with a second power brick. Inside the box, you do get two MC4 solar panel cables, but if you only have one solar panel and it's a 12 volt panel, it won't meet the minimum threshold for charging the device. So you'd either have to get one nominal 24 volt panel or put two of those 12 volt panels in series. Most of the solar panels you would find on Amazon, for example, are for 12 volt systems. The Picron also comes with a weather cover. Keeping everything together is this hard foam case that you can put all of those accessories in. The E2000 charged up in about three and a half hours. That's not too bad. And if you add that second power brick, you can cut that charge time down to just under two hours. Both the fans on the device and the charging brick were on during the entire time that the thing was charging. In fact, it just kicked on again right now to top off the device. It wasn't very distracting and I feel like it did a great job of managing the heat. Neither one of these are hot to the touch and I didn't get any funny smells while it was recharging. The display has plenty of features. It is a monochrome illuminated display. So when it's on at night, you'll be able to see it clearly, 
but in some conditions in direct sunlight, it is a little hard to read. It has a lot more information than I ever see on any of these devices. Starting with this percentage button, and if I hit the DC outlet button, it'll show me the internal voltage inside of the PCROM, which currently is 27.4 volts. It also shows me the voltage of the AC outlets, and if I cycle that again, also the hertz, so 120 volts, 60 hertz, that's standard here in the United States. And then it has the number of hours remaining. So right now it claims that if I leave this AC outlet on with no load, it'll run for 128 hours. And it shows me with just the DC outlet on, I'll get about 640 hours with this thing sitting here. So overall, I feel like the display is pretty decent for the cost of the device. This is my favorite part of testing these devices because I really get to find out just how much these inverters can take before they fail. For today's test, I have the My Heat Heater, a Dash Egg Cooker, a Brim Kettle, and if those don't knock out that inverter, I have my heat gun. So starting with the My Heat Heater, that bumped us up to just over 200 watts. The Dash Egg Cooker does pull around 300 watts. While I'm at it, I'll go ahead and boil some water and set it to keep warm. So that put me at just over 1500 watts for those three devices. So the heat gun's on low, I'm pulling about 1600 watts. I'll just dial it up to half. All right, so I'm just at about that 2000 watt limit. This thing is rated to do a 2000 watt load continuously. And since I'm over that load, I hit the overload protection on the circuit. Now that I've reset it, I'll go ahead and kick on the heater, the egg cooker, and I'll set this to boil again. I'm just gonna try to hit just under that 2000 watt load to see if I can run this at that rating. I feel like since this thing is rated to put out 2000 watts continuously, I should be able to get right up to that limit without triggering the circuit protection. We saw that when I was just a couple of watts over, it will trigger the overload protection, but now let's see if it'll run like this. In fact, I'm gonna set this up to run at 1900 watts for the rest of that battery life and see if it can handle it. So the AC inverter did perform as stated, but if you go just a little bit over that 2000 watt limit, it will trigger the overload protection. I'm not gonna complain about that because this is the stated specification. This thing claims it'll handle loads of 2000 watts continuously. When I bumped that load just under 2000 watts, I was able to pull that power for the entire duration of the battery life. If you are planning to use this, for example, to cook breakfast while you're out camping, and you plan to use a hot plate and a coffee maker, you may have to balance your time by using the coffee maker or the hot plate separately. Because if the combined total of those two devices is over that 2000 watt limit, it won't be able to push that power. So the Picron E2000 LFP passes the inverter capacity test. So what is the value of something like this? The Picron E2000 delivered on its claimed capabilities and it is cheap relative to the sum of its features. The Picron comes with an industry standard one year warranty and these LFP batteries are known to last many years. It has plenty of outlets and its casing feels pretty sturdy. So I think its price is reasonable. Some items like solar panels, that dolly, and even that second charger can help make this thing very versatile in temporary off-grid situations. And if you outgrow its capability, you can upgrade your system with that second or third battery pack. I'll continue to test this over the next few months and I'll post updates in the comments on its performance. Thanks for watching and boop this uh, picture of my face right here. It's a subscribe button and I'll see you at my next adventure.